16. We have some of the top players in the world here in the east of Germany battling it out for the title and £25,000 prize money. The race for the European Championship, the big televised tournament in November in Belgium is hotting up. We know that a number of big names well, may not or will not be there. Adrian Lewis among them. But huge opportunity for the players assembled here in Risa this weekend. My name's Dan Dawson. Sat alongside me is Rob Malarkey for three days of action here at the Saxon Arena. And if there's anybody in the world who can tell you an encyclopedic detail about the various random European tour venues that the PDC travels to, it is this man sat Dollar. alongside me now. First leg is James to throw first. Game on. Don't encourage me, Dan. I'm <laughs> keeping my powder dry for the three days to come. As you say, this is uh, the start of what is an extremely busy September for the PDC. The completion of the World Series events last month. The focus now very much on the European Tour. A German back-to-back -back treble over the first three weekends of this month. With visits to Mulheim and Sindelfingen to come. And Robbie Green will be at both of those as well. He's had a strong qualifying campaign of late in the uh, UK qualifiers. Yeah, well, of course, Robbie Green 100. managed to sneak into the match play earlier on this year, qualifying for a second time by having a very strong weekend on the Pro Tour, made a quarter-final in the final 85. qualifying event ahead of Blackpool and just snuck in there, nicking the place off Roby John Rodriguez. Ended up getting drawn against the 15-time champion, Phil the Power Taylor, in the first round. 85. But he gave him a run for his money. 10-8 in that one. But, uh, yeah, he's discovered the knack of qualifying for these events. He made only one of the first five European Tour events of 2016, but he's made the 54. final five, including this one, and the uh, final three of the calendar year. Hildesheim in October, the German Darts Championship, rounding off 80. the European campaign as James Richardson fails to get down to a finish on his throw here. Maybe a chance for Green to pounce here, but not with uh, an opening dart like that. 42. Yeah, we've got eight games this afternoon, eight games this evening. That will complete the second round lineup as Richardson well, sets it up 36. wonderfully. Leaves himself tops when he returns. Green needs a maximum to leave himself the same, and that's a bit of a block of dart. 60. James, you require oh, Just 40. below the wire. Double top for Richardson. Well, it was some way below the uh, wire, so double Game 10 the for Richardson, leg. who holds Change his throat. Richardson, saying like it's Robin to throw first. Game on. Yeah, Green had a look of resignation on his face after that uh, previous visit, almost conceding defeat in that opening leg. He knew that uh, Richardson was all over that finish there. And 91. Eventually was. As I said, Dan, very busy month coming up. We've got the... Uh, German back-to-back -back treble, as I said, in the European Tour. The Champions 91. League in Cardiff as well. The Players' Championship triple header at the end of the month. The Challenge Tour continues. The Development Tour this weekend as well. Yeah, well, uh, hope you got your toothbrush. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. It's going to be very busy. In fact, James Richardson playing here in the opening game of the International Darts Open. 100. His son, Josh, playing back in the UK on the Development Tour this weekend as well. So we'll have... One eye, certainly, on how his well, lad's doing. The BDO World Youth Champion and the Junior Darts Corporation Champion as well, Josh Richardson. It's his rise as a young dart player of immense potential well, that's kind of spurred 40. James to get back on the practice board and seen his resurgence of late. Yeah, it was something that he spoke about prior to his uh, return to the European 35. Tour this year. He has Robbie played one previously on the European Tour, made the quarters in... Austria a few years ago. But Green here with that, well, a chance for the big one here. One more of those. Sets up the bullseye. Robbie Green for a 170 checkout. 138. And he set it up instead. The camera zoomed in on the ball, but Green had other ideas. Just uh, no need to be too aggressive there with Richardson on 2 4 1. 96. Robbie Require 32. Pragmatic approach from Kong there. Double eight. Still double eight. 24. Well, James Lucar, 145. He's probably coming back. Well, in fact, he's definitely coming back looking at double four. 
46. Robert, you're Bit of a loose eight. one there, leaves 99, and that's a frustrating one for James Richardson. Got to use all three darts to see that off, but it doesn't matter anyway because Robert Robin Green Lee. takes Bobby out the James double four on. for one apiece. Winner of this one goes through to face the number 14 seed, oh, Stephen Bunting, as we have the first maximum of the weekend here in Risa. And it's the man from Rushton in Northamptonshire, James Richardson, who provides it. That's wobbling, so he may have to head to the 20 bed instead. 134. Here. Safety first approach this time from Green. 100. Green might well feel he's got a little bit of uh, something to prove this weekend. He was very, very unfortunate to lose to Daryl Gurney in his opening match in Dusseldorf in the most recent European Tour event. He averaged 96.32 in a 6 5 defeat. He led 4 1 in that match as well. So he might well feel he's got uh, some unfinished business here and looking for an opportunity to go uh, a fair distance in this tournament. That's uh, nicely done by Richardson then. Yeah, he has been playing some good darts. A couple of semi-finals on the Pro Tour this year for Robbie Green. Not to be sniffed at. 97. James Ricard, 136. And yeah, the 136 for James Richardson. There's three of them. 40. A bit scruffy. Could have been better, but he has left himself a two darter. Can Green apply the pressure? Just struggling around that treble 20 bed in the early stages here, Robbie Green. You saw him go down for the treble 19s at the start of this leg. And did so to good effect. And may have to go back down there at this one. There's another three. And another single 19. Six poor Robbie darts Rupert, from James Richardson there. It's just allowed Robbie Green back into this one for potentially the first break of throw. Needs to find a trouble 20. He's not been hitting them, and he doesn't hit one there either. So 58. James Richardson James crawling Rupert, towards the winning double in this leg. Oh, that's too good. Seven or three? It's the seven, double four. There you go, James Richardson James takes Richardson. that out. And Fourth leg is Robbie to throw first. Game on. When he eventually got to a double, it was decent. Yeah, got there in the end. Six uh, very poor darts prior to that 65 checkout. Hit the bullseye with the first well, time. What about that, though? 71. From Robbie Green. Well, once again, he starts on the treble 19s, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if he stays down there because, quite frankly, look at this. Oh, oh <laughs> now we've got a game on here. 180 number two. Simmering nicely now, this one. See, he can't buy a treble 20, Robbie Green, but 55. he goes down for the 19s and he can't stop hitting the treble. I'll just stay down there. Yeah, seems a curious decision to go back up to the 20s with Richardson in the mood once again. 140. 180 and a 140, and a chance here for Richardson to start thinking about a potential break here, especially with Green landing seven with his first dart. That's more like it. 127. Ah, as Robbie Green found his range. However, he's left 148, and Richardson will be confident of leaving something, well, I was going to say a little bit easier. 55. But he hasn't. Robbie require 148. Yeah, 180, 140, and then a 55. Curiouser and curiouser, this uh, fourth leg. Strays into the treble one once again. 42. Frustration writ large across Robbie Green's face. Treble 20 is eluding him as well. Now, treble 19 for Bull. Doesn't get a go at the bullseye. 98. But he does Robbie set Rupert that up and leaves Rupert himself six. the mentor. Treble 18. Ooh, just outside of the treble bed. <laughs> oh, well, why not? Why not? Things require 28. Now for a breaker throw in 3 1. Double 7. So just in the grip in the hand. Oh, comes inside. 24. And it's cost Robbie him a Rupert dart at the 32. double. And Robbie Green, big sigh of relief, but he's got to take out this 32. That's slightly awkward as well. And he has come inside. Double 80 once. Double 80 shot on the fourth leg. Robbie Green. Fifth leg is changed to the first. Game on. Dodging a bullet to some extent in that particular leg. Richardson. Off to a flyer with 180, 140, unable to find the one he required for the break of throat. And we're level once again at two apiece. He mentioned uh, Richardson's son, Josh, being his inspiration, if you like, for his resurgence, his uh, return to the big stage. He 
secured his tour card 58. in January of this year. It was a very productive weekend for him. It was the weekend he also secured qualification for the German Masters and the Dutch Masters in Venray. Would you like some breaking news, Mr. Malarkey? Well, if I said no, then... Oh, you say no you, if you like. By the time you told me, it wouldn't be breaking, so we'll have it now. 140. Green fires in at 140. That is not the breaking news. The breaking news is... Hang about. Hang about. Oh, look at this. That's three in three legs from James Richardson. Leaves himself 60. Potential 11 dart leg coming in here for the man nicknamed Ruthless. 98. For a fifth consecutive hold of throw. Robbie Green way back, not even on a finish. That's high, but he's got plenty of room to the right. Now, can he just kiss off the barreling in? 40. No, he can't, but he will return. And at the end of this leg, I will give you that breaking news that I promised you. By which stage it will be just news. No longer breaking. Steady. That's a no. Now then. Look at this. Well, he fired in the 180. James about 20. He's left himself 25, but he's thinking maybe I can put... Richardson off. It's not a big crowd in here, but he's not found the double yet. Oh, and he's still yes, not oh. found it. And Robbie Green Robbie has just 25. somehow stolen. Yep. Missed double 14 and missed double 7 in the previous leg. Missed double 5s there. Robbie Green. Game shot on the fifth no leg. No mistake. Robbie Green. With double 8. Six leg is Robbie to throw and first. Robbie Green secures the all important first break of throw. And you feel, or suspect at least, that in a match like this, that could well be enough. Well, he was on 60 left after nine darts there, James Richardson. And now Robbie Green is motoring. Tom 40, finding those treble 20s a little bit more regularly as Kong. But Richardson's hitting them as well. Now the breaking news. We have had a withdrawal. Now, we'd had one player withdrawal already anyway. James Wade, former European Tour winner, multiple major champion. He'd withdrawn anyway because he'd succumbed to that virus that was causing him problems at the Perth Darts Masters. He nearly withdrew from that tournament down under. But he hasn't made it here. He's had to stay at home and recover. 100. The world number one, an even money favourite for this title, Michael Van Gerwen, has just withdrawn as well. He's got an 100. ankle problem which means he cannot be here this weekend. Now, the only other European Tour event that Michael Van Gerwen missed was an ankle problem a few years back in Robbie Austria. 124. I don't know if it's the same one. As Green looks at 124. He'll just stay on the treble 18s to try and set it up. 56. But Michael Van Gerwen is not here. And all of a sudden, this blows the international darts open wide open. As Richardson oh, fires in his fourth 180s, maximums in four consecutive legs here. Pressure on this for Green. Great dart. Double four. Oh, Aim wonderful 14 line. darter. Robbie, Robbie Green. Green. A bit Seven of daylight like between these two first. now. Game on. Yeah, because Richardson was waiting in the wings. But as you say, Dan, it really does open things up. Um, Van Gerwen, by the way, was scheduled to play either Michael Rastovitz or Ryan 85. Meekle in the second round tomorrow in the last 32. And we also have some more news in that little section of the draw as Robbie Green looks to fill it up with his first three darts and settles for a ton 40. Daryl Gurney, who was bumped up to 16th seed because of James Wade's withdrawal, so he would have been scheduled to meet Michael Van Gerwen 100. had they both got through their opening games tomorrow. He's broken a bone in his hand. I believe it might be his little finger. Did it go-karting? He has his playing hand in a cast right now. 57. Now, he's declared himself fit to play. My understanding is he's going to have the cast cut off so he can go up there and play tomorrow. Uh, ooh, just deflecting out of the treble bed there. And it means that he's not down to a finish, Richardson. That would have been... Well, he's not going to get his fifth successive 180 now. Oh. Robbie Green will rattle one in anyway. James Wade not here. Michael Van Gerwen, a late withdrawal. Daryl Gurney, we don't know Robbie what Rupert, kind of state he's in with a broken bone in his throwing hand. And Gurney was scheduled to be Van Gerwen's opponent if the seedings have worked out in the last 16 as well. So, no. Robbie Green here. 99. James Rupert, 76. Just opens the door slightly here for Richardson to oh. try and claw his way back, but he's hit the treble one and he's in all sorts of bother here now. 36. Robbie Green to go Robbie one Rupert, leg 25. away. 25 needed for another break of throw. Oh, he's missed a big number. That leaves him 11. Three for double four. Awkward. 
Double four, only one dart at it, should have had two at this, he only on needs one flag. dart, it Robbie is 5-2, Green. and Robbie Green flag is Robbie to throw could first. be setting Game up on. a second round clash with Stephen Bunting, the bullet, the former Lakeside world champion, of course, Robbie Green, former Lakeside semi-finalist, back in 96. 2014, you see there, 92 averages, but three legs between them, and Green throwing for the match. 91. Well, it was a Merseysider who won this tournament last year. Michael Smith beating Benito van der Pass 6-3 in the final. It's a Merseysider who's on course for victory in the opening match of this year's tournament. Robbie Green. 96. Closing in, but still with work to do. Well, James Richardson hit 180s in four consecutive legs. He lost three of them. 60. And that leg where he was on an 11 dart, he left 60 after nine, missed a whole load of darts at double. Robbie Green just nicked it. Creeping up behind him, nicking that leg against the throw. That has changed this game 59. entirely. Yeah, it was the missed darts at double 14 and double 7 in the fourth. Missed darts at double 10 and double 5 in the fifth. They really did the damage. It gave Robbie 100. Green a huge amount of impetus and momentum. And he's really pressed on from there. Both players down to 250 here. And Robbie Green looking to gobble this up once again. And what he's found... Way? A maximum just to inch himself towards the finishing tape here. Seven 180s in this game between of them, uh, between the pair of them. Robbie and Robbie Green, 70. his most recent one, has left him 70 for the match and a 6-2 win. Now is it 20 or 12 he looks at here? It is 20 for double 16. 54. This is inside. He's James not had much luck on the double 16. This may have to go. May have to go. Same target, double 16. James Richardson James to stay alive and gets his first James break Richardson. of throw. It's 5 3. This game is Can't over. Is James to throw first. Game on. Certainly isn't. He's been taking the distance on several occasions, Robbie Green of late, and James Richardson threatening to do likewise here. He's got the break of throw back, uh, one break of throw back anyway. This to trim the deficit to 5 96. 4 on his throw, but Rich, uh, Robbie Green still on the front foot here, you'd feel. But it's just given Green something to think about. And all of a sudden, the trebles are deserting. 59. Him. A great character there, Richardson. The and he's done so Easy. once again. His eighth 180, or the eighth 180 of the match. His fifth. And all of a sudden, Robbie 57. Green has got a bit of a grimace on his face here. Well, he knows, Robbie Green, that the next leg is a really important one. That's the one when he's got the throw, and he'll look to close it 42. out 6-4 if Richardson does hold his throw here. I mean, he's got 202 points behind, and a single one isn't going to help him. But he did nick well, that leg earlier on from way, way back, and he'll be hoping he gets another chance here. He's missed one match dart already as Robbie Green. 137. Richardson sets that up nicely. He will get two darts for this leg. Even a ton is enough for Green to get to a finish. Oh, just a single Andrew 20 would have been 46. enough. And that yeah. means there's not as much pressure on this 46 for Richardson. Double 16 he wants. It's 5-4. The gap reduced to just one leg. And Ten this, leg is, this is the first. big leg. Game on. Robbie Green holds throw. He wins. If James Richardson can break the throw, he suddenly becomes favourite again for this one. Yeah, 14 dart hole for James Richardson, what Robbie Green would give for one of those, and that's a pretty good start out of the blocks quickly. As you say, this is the all-important one for Robbie Green. Put that last leg to bed. Well, the last two legs can be tough for that mind now. With a ton 40 or so here really would do him the world of good. Yeah, that's exactly what he's got great first start he would have been gutted not to have followed it with at least one of the next two 100. just a ton just about in this leg James Richardson needs to win this one and the decider if he's to book his place in the second round to face Stephen Bunting 91 comes downstairs again Robbie Green 91 gets him to a finish yeah echoes of that match with Daryl Gurney when he led 4-1 he missed a match start at 5 all as well he won't want 55. that 55 Robbie over over but he's got six darts from 136. Robbie Green to be the first man through from this afternoon session here at the 
International darts open in Risa, and he's going to set it up very nicely nice indeed. Yeah. Double top for the match when he returns. All Richardson can do is hit something big and hope. 100. Robbie Just Ripon, a ton 40. again. You feel it's not enough. Robbie Green then. One it's dart is all he needs. Match. Robbie Green. He suffered a 6-5 defeat in the first round in Dusseldorf, and despite James Richardson's rally from 5-2 down, Kong goes through to book his place in the second round of the International Darts Open. And it's a winning start for the Merseyside. James Richardson Robbie is Green on his way home. Der erste Mann, der sich hier oben auf der Bühne and we'll kann, play no further part. Stand by for the next instalment here from James Risa. We've got two Richards. more Englishmen on the stage. Andy the Hammer Hamilton ein, up against James Wilson. Then a applause for ruthless James Richardson. Und Robbie Green wird damit in der zweiten Runde es morgen mit Stephen Bunting zu tun bekommen. Robbie, congratulations. Happy with your game? Uh, the later part of it, yeah. But, yeah well, it wasn't fantastic to start with, but it, it, you know, sometimes it's hard. Just walking around the practice room, getting on the stage and then get going. And it took me a couple of legs to warm up, as did James. You know, we, yeah, he's a great player, James. Good lad. Next round, uh, Stephen Bunting is waiting. A special opponent, World Championship semi-final 2014. You played him? I, listen, I've played with Stephen since he was about 13 or 14, and <laughs> I, I, I treat him like a little brother. He's very, very special uh, to me, and I love him to bits. But obviously, tomorrow we've got to go head to head. And listen, made the best man win on the day. It's one of them. Uh, Robbie, you're, you're born in Liverpool. How is Jürgen Klopp doing? Is he doing a good job? Jürgen Klopp is just... Uh, he's a breath of fresh air for us. He, he's come in with his own way of doing things. And Well, the Germans have always been the best defensively. And hopefully he sorts our defence out because we're rubbish. But, yeah, he, listen, he, he's been amazing. And it, I, I don't think it's just the work that he does with the players on the pitch. I think it's behind the scenes as well, the way he works with the players, not just on the pitch. And it, 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 hopefully it's going to improve us tenfold. But I, I love him. I'm a, I'm a Kloppite. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Robbie Green.